Oh, it's coming so fast. 22. What? This is scary. Oh, God. <laughs> this is crazy. I never thought an e-bike would be this fun on the trail. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. <laughs> My name is Lollipop, and today we're going to be testing out this Magicycle electric bike on a mountain bike trail. Now the trail I'm going to be riding today is Brown's Ravine Trail in Folsom, California. I've ridden it before on different bikes including on my Trek Marlin 5. But basically the trail has a lot of uphill, a lot of downhill, uh, a good amount of rocks and other obstacles in the way as well. So essentially stuff that this bike is not designed for at all. But I think it would be a great way to test out this electric bike's capabilities off-road. Now if you've seen my first video on this bike, you'll know that Magicycle sent me this e-bike for a review video. So once again, I'll put the link of their website in the description down below as well as on the screen right now. And if you missed my discount codes in the previous video, I'll put those up on the screen right now as well as in the description. So if you're looking into getting a new e-bike, it'll be a great way to help out the channel and get a discount. And once again, for reference, I'll throw up the bike's battery and motor specifications on the screen so you can see them. But on with the video. So I've taken this bike on the road and on some gravel pads and it's been very comfortable, stable, durable and just been an overall blast to ride. I've had a lot of fun riding it. But today we're going full send and taking it on a challenging mountain bike trail. And at the end of the video I'll basically give you my thoughts on if I feel like the bike is worth it for mountain biking and just worth it in general for the $1600 price point. So I'm pretty excited but also pretty nervous because I've never ridden an electric bike on a trail before. So wish me luck and let's get started. So this trail will help us test the bike's durability as it's being tossed around. And I was thinking we can also test out its range to make sure that the bike can last for a full trail day since I don't think I'll be able to pedal this bike back home uh, without any pedal assist if it dies. So I'm starting the bike out at a 100% battery. I don't know if you can see it on the screen there, but it is 100% fully green. And the company does claim a range of 30 to 55 miles on a full charge. So let's go on this uphill and start off the trail. And I do also want to see how much the weight of this bike affects the riding since it is almost 80 pounds. Um, I'm going to try to lay off the throttle because I know that's not the safest thing, but let me just try using it up here. Ooh. I think I'm gonna try to take it a little slower. Okay, I'm doing throttle right now. I'll do pedal assist for a second. Kind of shift to a easier gear. <laughs> oh my god, I gotta get used to this, guys. I think for this trail at least, I'm gonna focus on using the pedal assist or the, the electric motor in general more for the uphills because this trail does have a lot of ups and downs. So far, I do feel like I'm bouncing around on this bike. Woo. This is really, really fun though. I almost didn't take it on this trail since I was kind of worried about how it would do. Uh, this is one of the parts I was kind of worried about because there are a lot of bumps. Ooh, this is definitely, as the name of the bike suggests, it is a cruiser bike. They're not really intending it to be used for mountain use. So I'm not taking this on, on a trail that's literally going to destroy me and the bike together. But I am taking it on something that I feel like no one's ever really going to take a Magicycle Cruiser on. So that's just kind of how I wanted to make this video. But you know, surprisingly, this isn't as bad as I thought it would be. When I was thinking about the ride beforehand, I was like, this is going to be terrifying. The bike's 80 pounds. It has so much power. It goes 28 miles per hour. I'm going to die on this trail. But right now, as I'm riding it, I don't really feel too uncomfortable. I don't really feel like I'm going to go over my limits or anything like that. I'm on pedal assist one right now, <laughs> to the lowest level, and it still feels pretty good. I'm gonna hit the throttle right now and see. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> yeah, I wanna hit this jump. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that on an e-bike. I feel like I'll destroy it or destroy myself one or the other. The downhills, I feel like with the position of this bike, I feel a little too far forward. Um, I do actually have the seat slammed on this bike right now. It's not at my normal riding position when I'm going on the road because obviously I don't really want a high center of gravity right now while I'm trail riding. Let me throttle this one because it's getting a little flatter. Woo! Oh man, this is fun. <laughs> Holy crap. Okay, so so far, this magic cycle is holding up a lot better than I thought it would. I'm definitely feeling less nervous on it now and I'm having a lot of fun. And that's really what e-bikes are meant for, in my opinion, just for fun. Woo! <laughs> Like if I want exercise, I'm definitely not going to take an e-bike on the trail. Uh, but if I want to have a really fun time just feeling like 
I'm on a roller coaster or something. This is definitely the way to go. I'll go off this little jump. <laughs> okay, let's throttle this. <laughs> Sorry, every single time I hit that throttle, I always make that woo noise. I can't even, it's like instinctual at this point. Like I can't even uh, control that. It's like when you're on a roller coaster, you just want to scream. I really wanted to do this because obviously my channel is mainly mountain biking focused. <laughs> I didn't want to just show you guys a bunch of boring videos of me riding this bike on a road So I really wanted to push it past its limits and and see what it can do at the beginning of this trail I said I wouldn't really use the throttle too much, but I'm using it a lot. Oh, I remember this uphill so well. I could never <laughs> I was gonna say I could never complete this uphill on a normal bike and it looks like I can't do it on the e-bike either It's pretty bumpy and rocky uh, and technical up here. Wow, this is funny guys because normally at this point uh, I take a break because I'm so tired um, from that uphill but right now I feel at a hundred percent like I'm not even the slightest bit tired. I go down this pretty fast. Woo! Oh hell yeah! Okay, this is getting a little bit more technical or not technical, it's just getting a little bit sketchier i'm not too sure about this portion here oh my god Ugh. 18 miles per hour right there let's see how fast we can get this We're still at 18 19 20. <laughs> what i'm just flying down this trail this is crazy holy crap oh it's going so fast 22 what <laughs> holy crap oh. Off my grip there. Okay, this is getting really, 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 really bumpy. Holy crap. <laughs> the trail starts getting a little bit more rough here. Oh, there's deer. <laughs> hey. How's it going? Okay. <laughs> oh, I fell off there. Oh, no, 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 okay. See, now I'm feeling like the bricks need to be better. Oh, man. <laughs> this is definitely not going to show up on a camera, but it's really steep and I'm freaking out. Through these trees, okay. I'm just worried about the traction on these tires now because, because I'm trying to go full throttle here and it's, it's still not going too fast because it's going uphill. Whew. Oh, okay. Let's see, I might go up the pedal assist and see. Oh, holy crap, holy crap. Oh my god. Oh. Picking your lines on this bike is a little bit more difficult as well because the handling is not as good. Obviously, I am running freaking cruiser handlebars on this thing. Let me go on the road and just kind of have some fun. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna try to use pedal assist more. We're on pedal assist seven, which is kind of insane, but let's go. Oh my God. <laughs> I can't imagine going this fast uphill. This is insane. Oh God. <laughs> oh, that's when I felt scared for my safety. <laughs> and I just kind of mob as fast as possible. This is so insanely fun. Obviously, this does not replace a, a normal bike, a normal non-electric bike. I still very much enjoy riding those on, on trails, including this one. Oh my God. <laughs> I try to use throttle in these areas so I don't get pedal strikes on an e-bike. I feel like that's not the funnest thing. Wow, this is so easy. I'm going to decrease the pedal assist in case I accidentally pedal too fast into a tree or something. Okay, okay, okay. Also, I apologize if I'm talking too much, guys. I just getting so excited about this bike. I kind of want to talk about everything. Ooh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm going to die. <laughs> right here. Oh. All right. We're at that front uphill section that was pretty technical, so I don't know if I want to zoom through this one. Woo! 
Oh, we did it. So that was Browns Ravine Trail on the Magicycle 52 volt cruiser electric bike. All right, so here are my final thoughts on this bike while mountain biking. I have arranged a table here to organize all the categories I wanted to cover. So first of all, we have durability. This bike felt surprisingly durable on the trail. I was worried about the quality of some of the parts on the bike, but it really stayed together well, did not make too much noise and held up easily for trail riding. For comfort, I still feel like the seat is very comfortable and the riding position is more upright, so that prevents some back pain. And since it's an e-bike, I did not get sweaty or tired or uncomfortable. However, this bike is a hardtail and has a rigid rear end, so over rocky terrain, I was getting bumped out of my seat often, and the riding position also made it less confidence-inspiring on downhills. Component-wise, the brakes usually require a full press of the lever to stop fully, so I wish those were a little higher end and stronger, but they did work out fine in the end, and I did not have any safety issues. The suspension fork could be plusher and more comfortable, but it does have wide stanchions which make it feel durable. For the range, this bike can easily last a full trail day on any trail. It definitely has a large enough battery, and even though I was mainly using the throttle, I only used 25% of the battery after 10 miles or so of riding. I did want to talk about the weight, and for the most part, it is not noticeable, but I did see it impacting performance on steeper uphill climbs, where the bike struggled more to provide enough assistance, but it did get up the hills eventually, just a little slower. So in conclusion, my review for this bike is that considering the price point, it's a really great way to have fun on a variety of terrain, and I am definitely really happy I got to try this bike out. My overall thoughts are that this bike is worth it, and if you are considering an electric bike, this one is definitely a strong contender. But that is it for me. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Have a nice day, and remember to keep biking.